fellow guardians, Bolt Civil Plays here bringing you another Destiny video. It is October 12th, and it is a Wednesday, which means it is Arms Day. So let's see what Banshee has this week. Okay, go. First up we have the Soros ARI-41 Auto Rifle. Rank 1, has SLO-19, SPO-26, or SRO-37. Hammer Forged, or Feather Mag, Lightweight, or Reinforced Barrel. And Rodeo. Rank 2 has SLO 19, SPO 26, or SRO 41. Fitted stock or pen and mag. Lightweight or injection mold. And focus fire. Rank 3 has SLO 19, SPO 28, or SRO 41. High caliber rounds, or feather mag, single point sling, or small bore, and private eye. Nothing worth getting with this archetype. See the grab marks or hang on to it for next week. Next up is the Soros ARI-45 auto rifle. Rank 1 has SLO-19, SPO-28, or SRO-41, hammer forged, or pin and mag, single point sling, or reinforced barrel, and hip fire. Rank 2 has SLO 19, SPO 26, SRO 41, fitted stock, or feather mag, single point sling, or injection mold, and private eye. Rank 3 has SLO 12, SPO 28, or SPO 57, Perfect Balance, or Casket Mag, Speed Reload, or Hand Laid Stock, and Outlaw. Definitely Rank 3. So you go Outlaw, Hand Laid Stock, Perfect Balance, you got max stability with losing just a little bit of range. SPO 28 has improved target acquisition. And if you're doing good with that stability and you want to try with a little bit less, you could also try go hand laid stock and then casket mag. You'll lose some of the stability from the hand laid stock. You still lose the range, but you gain more bullets. But this is definitely the one to pick this week. Next up we have the Uferin HC4 hand cannon. Rank 1 has fast draw IS, quick draw IS, or sure shot IS, third eye. Lightweight, or Brace Frame, Rescue Mag, or Eye of the Storm. Rank 2 has Fast Draw IS, Quick Draw IS, or Sure Shot IS, Zen Moment, Snapshot, or Injection Mold, Triple Tap, or Eye of the Storm. Rank 3, Fast Draw IS, Steady Hand IS, or True Sight IS. Zen Moment, Snapshot, or Brace Frame, Rescue Mag, or Eye of the Storm. I would hang on to this. You're looking for one with like Rifle Barrel, something with a range boost. All these had just stability boost. You're looking for range. So this could be a very good gun with a range boost. So I'd say definitely hang on to and wait for a range boost to come. Next up we have the Ledemilia D Pulse Rifle. Rank 1. As SC Hollow or LB Assault, Glass Half Full, Rodeo, Single Point Sling, Hand Loaded, or Reinforced Barrel. Rank 2 has SC Hollow or LD Watchdog, Head Seeker, Full Auto, High Caliber Rounds, Speed Reload, or Reinforced Barrel. Rank 3 has GB Iron. Or LC ranged, danger close, counterbalance, single point sling, hand loaded, or reinforced barrel. This one is your best bet, but that's not saying much. It's got counterbalance, and that's pretty much all it's got going for it. So, what you're looking for in this role is counterbalance with a stability perk like hand laid stock, and then in this spot, something like head seeker or crowd control. And then you have a perfect roll on this. 
with anything else. It's just an, a meh gun. So either save it and hope for that, or just grab one for marks. Last up, we have the Tamir D sniper rifle. Rank 1, has ATA Scout, or ATD Raptor, unclinching, performance bonus, perfect balance, snapshot, or injection mold. Rank 2, has ATB long range, ATD Raptor, take a knee, partial refund, perfect balance, snapshot, or injection mold. Rank 3 has ATA Scout, ATD Raptor, Unflinching, Performance Bonus, Perfect Balance, Quick Draw, or Injection Mold. Rank 3 is your best bet on this, but it is a more faster fire rate, lower impact sniper, so it's not highly useful. But if you don't have anything better, it's a good start. So you got the low zoom scope, you got unflinching, which is going to help, especially now after the flinching buff and change. Performance bonus, so getting a kill gets you a chance for more ammo. And then you can do perfect balance, since it's a faster fire rate, stability is kind of helpful on these. Field test weapons for this week. We have the Suros TSA-10 auto rifle, using the Crucible. We have the Amelon Test FR1 Fusion Rifle, used against Vex Minotaurs. We have the Hake Test A Pulse Rifle, which is used in the Crucible. We have the Hake Test A Pulse Rifle, make precision shots. And the Suros TSP-10 Pulse Rifle, used against Vex targets. So, I'd say the PvE ones just go on Venus Patrol. Head to the area before you go up to, I'm drawing a blank on the name, but the the juncture area. And then there's Minotaurs there, there's Minotaurs there, there's Vex, the whole area is Vex. And once you get done with the one, then you can switch over and do the precision shots. Get them all done in one area. And then Crucible, your best bet for this is to find a buddy and go into a private match and just kill each other with them. It's going to be your fastest way because usually the test weapons in Crucible are a pain to get like any kills with in normal Crucible. Foundry orders for this week are the Suros DIS-43 Scout Rifle, the Hake Gaheris D Hand Cannon, the Amlan Kumakatak HC4 Hand Cannon, the Hake Herja D Pulse Rifle, and the Hake Strongbow D Shotgun. For sure, make sure you get the DIS-43, it could be a great scout rifle. Uh, Gaharis can roll pretty decently, it usually it takes a couple weeks for him to bring a good, decent roll on it. Kumukatak, same thing, it can be very good, it's just gotta wait for that right roll. And then the Hake, the Herja D hasn't really been used much, it just falls in one of those archetypes that aren't very powerful right now. And then the Strongbow D is one of those mid-range shotguns where it doesn't fall into those long-range PvP shotguns or the short, fast fire rate shredders for PvE. So I'd say Scout Rifle for sure, and then the hand cannons if you got room for sure. So that was Banshee Stock for Arms Day for October 12th, 2016. Make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on what he brought. If there's anything you're looking forward to next week, if you got any other helpful tips for where to use the field test weapons, then make sure to check out my other videos at youtube.com slash C slash plays, and you can check me out the stream from time to time over at twitch.tv slash plays. Till next time, Guardians, take it easy.